Hey, Jer, this one is hundreds. Ah. Are you afraid? No. Never be fearful. Alright? Because math is all about what? Pattern. Once you get the pattern right, nothing will, nothing, uh, nothing will frighten you. Alright? You will not be afraid. One. Look. What do you want? Hundreds. Hundreds how? 100. Lo. Do what? Divide by 2. Standard step. Standard step divide by 2. This one is standard. 100 divided by 2? 50. What next? 5,700. On the left, minus 50. On the right, plus 50. Okay? 700 minus 50. 700 minus 50 is 650. 700 plus 50. Remember, one more standard step. What is it? Minus 1. 750 minus 1 will give you a 49. 50 minus 1 is a 49. The smallest, 5,650. No effort. Right? Next one. Huh? See what next one? 1,000. Are you afraid? No. Nothing to fear. Come. 1,000 is what? How many zero? Yes. 1,000. Step 1. Divide by 2. What do you do next? Write the number. 28,000. On the left, minus 500. On the right, plus 500. What is 8,000 minus 500? You read it as 8,000 minus 500. It's easier. Alright, 8,000 minus 500 it is 7,500. Put the 2 in front. Okay? What is 8,000 plus 500? 28,500. What must you do? What must you do? Yes, many of you are shouting, shouting already. Minus 1, standard step. So what do you have here? What is the answer? 500 minus 1 is a 499. Right, 500 minus 1 is a 499. So it's 28,499. What is the smallest? 27,500. That's all. Math is all about pattern. Learn the pattern, learn the tricks. You will be much stronger than all your other friends, really, children. Right? So these are some methods that you have to really remember. Or with constant practice, it will be effortless. Right? So that you don't have to waste so much time thinking, what is the answer? What is the answer? You just apply the steps in. Of course, you must have the understanding behind. Just now I explained to you, right, the very first part, the example tree. But there are so, just too many steps. There are just too many steps just to think about what is the correct answer, right? So with proper steps like that, things are actually easier for you. Use it, right? When, you, when something is useful, you use it. Okay, and uh, ne next portion will be your uh, computer-aided assessment. Yes, I think you know what to do already. Uh, for those who are still a little bit blur, mm, it's okay. Uh, as I say, try to get yourself a jotter book or exercise book. Things that's important like this, what do you do? Yes, write it down. All right, write it down. And try to make that little notebook, the little exercise book, your notes. So you come up with your own notes. Sometimes you take and revise. That's important. Okay, and this exercise book, you can also go into the next portion, which is the computer-aided assessment. Yes, and uh, certain questions might need some working here and there. So you can do some working, you can scribble out some of the working yourself. And at the end of the day, if you got a mistake, all right, what happens is I will come back in the next segment of the lesson and I'll explain some of the important things, things that you may have uh, made a mistake. And from down there, you circle now with a red pen. Be a teacher yourself, come on. Alright, circle with a red pen and write down some notes down there. Okay, uh, Mr. Ong say must, um, must take note of this point, must use this method and so on. Alright, so with the jotter book, right, with the exercise book, you are able to keep a good record. Alright, call the exercise book uh, 88 tuition. Call it 88 tuition. Or you can even draw a symbol, our logo. Draw it, colour it, make it beautiful. Alright, such a beautiful colour, don't you see? So children, do something. Uh. So the next portion, Get ready, all right, click on it and challenge yourself. Try to get those questions done correctly. You can do it. I have total faith in you, all right? Try to get as many correct as possible, okay? So you go and practice and I'll see you in a while's time, okay?